When I put the headset on, I can feel my mind getting quiet. And all the things running through my mind, all the stress kind of disappears with it. So we're wondering if we could use virtual reality as a new technology to lower people's anxiety levels. So we simply brought people into the laboratory. Um, we tested their anxiety level, what they currently were, just coming in out of the hallway. And then we exposed them to a virtual reality environment for about four minutes and just had them experience these environments for a while. After that, we post-tested their anxiety level. So we tested their anxiety again, and we're really just comparing to see if their anxiety goes down from before to after the VR experience. You know, you could have students here at Mount Royal or at any university or wherever, um, just pull up that app, you know, right before they go into an exam, pop it in, chill out on the beach for five minutes before they go into the exam, and then be ready to go. And then they could do that right in the hallway, right before they went in to write a test or something like that. That's people, in my mind, people would be more willing to do that and take that advice because they wouldn't necessarily see it as a break because they're still doing something but it serves the same purpose where it's giving their mind a break and it's letting their body relax and chill out and stuff like that. Right now, um, the experiences that people are having are pretty passive. They sit and they look around and they experience the environments, but we want to move into a situation where people are interacting with those environments more. That's even more engaging. It creates more presence within that virtual experience, um, which is the potential to create a, a larger mood change in people. I historically get students involved in my research, like that's something I've always wanted. So there's opportunities there. Certainly for, at the, at the senior level, our honor students that come through our honors program would have an opportunity to be in this. I'd imagine in the future I'll probably have a couple honor students every year that are involved directly in helping design and conduct the research. Um, on top of that, we also use undergraduate students as research assistants. So maybe that student who isn't quite at the level to be in the honors program and lead a project yet will help run participants through experiments. So we get them in, we kind of show them the technology, and they help us conduct other research studies. We've got a lot of this equipment in place now. There's an enormous amount of opportunity for what virtual reality can be used for. There's a reason why Google's involved and HTC's involved and Sony's involved and we're really trying to find our way here at Mount Royal as to how can we contribute to that. What role can we play? What's our niche here at Mount Royal? 